Good afternoon, welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we're here in Growing Zone 6B in New England. The world is burning and we're gonna make a charcuterie plate for the goats. Come on along. Cherry tomatoes, some lettuce that I'm pretty sure they like already. Cherries, I'm gonna take the pits out. Apples, grapes, carrots, radishes. I have been informed that goats are super into Fig Newtons. Um, we'll give it a shot. Historically, my goats like something crunchy, but they're really jammy and sweet. I guess um, people will use these like a pill pocket with goats, um, but usually you see that with like a full-size goat that can bite the whole cookie in half, you know? Um, my goats, they're Nigerian dwarf goats, and they have tiny mouths and little nibbly teeth. So we're gonna have to break some of this stuff down. I basically want to do a little tasting flight for them um, and see what they like best. I am surrounded by a variety of bowls. Um, this is all going to wind up back on the cutting board in the end, I'm sure. And I've got this, I have a cherry pitter. I bought this last year. It's so much fun. And there's the pit. How cool is that, right? Okay, so there's our cherries. So I know you're looking at this and you're like, why is she cutting these things in such tiny pieces? Um, some of them, they just, they have little mouths, but most importantly, I'm cutting the round things into pieces because Girl, it must be really hard keeping round things in one's mouth if one is a goat. Now this sweet potato, I bet they don't like the sweet potato. It's kind of stringy and fibrous, um, but we'll see, we'll see. They could surprise me. They've surprised me about a lot of things so far. And I'm not putting a whole lot of any one thing on this plate because there's a lot of things to taste. This is basically tapas for goats. But also this is a pretty sugary plate. So yeah, so we're gonna see what they like and don't like and not overfeed them. I'm told they like a salty macadamia nut. A lot of people suggest salted nuts um, when you're training your goats. The one thing I heard this morning was that you shouldn't feed them walnuts. I guess they're toxic. So um, things like salted peanuts, are they're supposed to love macadamia nuts. They're supposed to love um, just anything but walnuts. Mm, let's see. I think if I quarter up like two cookies, that should be fine. I do feel weird feeding the goats cookies. This is, this is a special treat. Just real quick, let's touch on that whole as a treat thing. Because Bernie said the cat could have a little bit of salami as a treat, right? Ugh. Poor Anton. Ugh. We really consider treats these days. Hey. Hello. What do you think? I love it. It's awesome. I'm pretty excited about this. So, I don't know where this came from. It just sounded like a great idea. So we're going to try. Oh, I have lettuce too. Mm. We'll bring them lettuce as well. We'll put that on the, Ooh, we'll decorate the charcuterie board. <laughs> okay, this is our goat charcuterie plate in its final form. We have added some tomatoes, some lettuce, along with the sweet potatoes and the grapes and the salty macadamia nuts and the fig newtons, and our apple, and radish, and carrot, and cherries. Ah, I'm so interested to see what they're gonna love. I mean, most of this plate is something I would eat. That is true. I mean, it's pretty much salad. Yeah. It's the best salad. Shark plate for cutie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go outside and um, see which snacks rate best. Come on along. Put your boots on first. Hi, baby girls. Look how smart. Nope. Nope. Okay. Okay, so 
Zero takers on the sweet potatoes. Uh, uh, we know they like carrots. Yeah, I was going to say. You want a cherry? No. Oh, drummer's in. Drummer likes the cherry. Again, all the snacks today. I like all the snacks. Should we do, I think we should do the Fig Newtons. Drummer. Drummer, baby. I got a Fig Newton. Come here. Piper has no interest. Is Drummer eating now? Oh, she's like moving him around. No? <laughs> How about a grape? Hey, we like Look. grapes over here. Oh boy, what's going on here? I think it might have been secure when it was, yeah. or more secure, yeah. A little, a little bridge. <laughs> Goes in tight. Use some carrots too. They like the cherries. They do. And the radishes, okay. Oh, we came back to try those. Maybe they just need a little time. Sometimes animals don't want to eat, like, while you're on top of them. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> was that a high value treat that you were defending? Yes, mother. Why don't you want to share? Well, they they're goats. They know. You share with your sister. Cherries were a hit. Mm -hmm. They also really love cranberries, but the season is over, alas. Sweet potato. Oh, right out of her mouth. Yeah, she can't distinguish this carrot from the tomato. Here, baby. There you go. What's that? Free fight. Hey, did you see that? Girlfriend, no. You want some grapes? No. No. There you go. Ooh, this is high value nonsense. I think the carrots are the highest value treat here. Mm -hmm. For sure. Oh, either those are the cherries. Yeah, they really like the cherries. Those went fast. <clears throat> yeah, your favorite. Should we take it to the chickies? Yes, we should. All right. How are we? Are we good? We're done. I'm gonna put oh. the grapes in with their feed. Mm -hmm. Anybody want you want to take this away? Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed your dinner. These are good snacks, man. Okay, snacks for chickens. I'll get the door. It's cold. Uh. That's how that goes. Nice. Chick, 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 chickens. Here you go. Oh, oh damn, the chickens really fig like Newtons. fig Newtons. <laughs> Among other things, the goats really like these Christmas trees. 
These Christmas trees have been decimated. Yes, by you. Did they eat the Fig Newtons? No. They did not like the Fig Newtons. I was shocked too. They like took a snuffle and they were like, eh. I think they just like crunchy stuff. So, that's us avoiding the noise of the world today. This is not to say I'm an advocate for staying uninformed or misinformed. All I'm saying is you can't keep that kind of vigilance up every day. Thanks for coming along with us and uh, setting up the salad bar for the, I mean, it could be a salad bar. It could be. It could be tapas. Charcuterie. Charcuterie. A sampler. A sampler platter, a tasting flight. Anyway, we gave our goats lots of treats and it was totally fun. And I'm so glad you could hang out with us. We'll catch you up soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I don't know what they're called. <laughs>